Hey guys, it's Mandy here. Sorry I haven't been online for a while. I went on holiday to Cyprus with my boyfriend. Had a great time. The weather there was absolutely amazing for this time of year. I mean, right now in London it's absolutely freezing. So it was a really nice change of weather. <laughs> and um, spent five weeks there and just sort of chilling and meeting the family and seeing things. So it was good. I had a good time. So yeah, that's why I haven't been online lately. I didn't take any gadgets with me. I didn't even have my mobile phone with me, so I was completely gadget free, which was a nice change. It actually gave me an opportunity to um, relax as it were, because I wasn't thinking about, oh my God, I have to watch this, I have to watch that. So definitely would recommend if you guys are feeling a little bit overwhelmed, go for like at least a long weekend without any gadgets it gives you a sort of insight of just how much people have become sort of dependent on their mobile phones and things like that and like if you can't even spend a weekend without your mobile phone there's something wrong you know you can just send a send a message to everyone on your phone and simply say i will not be available for the next week so don't bother calling me texting me or anything but you can have like an emergency contact if you really want someone who's either with you or close by if there is an emergency contact this person and they will contact me directly so that if there is an emergency you can let me know but yeah guys definitely recommend just go for a, go for a holiday and just don't take anything with you it changes your sort of perspective a lot you sort of become very aware of things that before you weren't aware of because you were so focused on your phone but anyway uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys uh, this morning about while I was away I was thinking a lot about I don't want to call it generational trauma but more like generational conditioning because I have this I have this very personal gripe with the education system simply because of the fact that you know my experience in the education system was horrendous because I spent my entire youth basically being told because I couldn't keep up with what, what the education system was saying I should be keeping up with. That I was lazy, I was incompetent, why couldn't I do this, why couldn't I do that, there was something wrong with me and blah blah blah. It's basically I'm the problem because I couldn't keep up with what the system was putting in front of me. And I think that is a major problem guys that we need to address. Uh, we need to address the fact that we as a generation, my generation, the generation just above me and the generation coming up, we are all conditioned to believe that dumping your kids in a school system is the only way for them to be educated. And if they can't keep up with the curriculum, there is something wrong with them. It is a very big problem I think we need to address. And we need to wake up to the fact that dumping your kids in school is not the only answer. You can privately educate your kids. I mean, for goodness sake, if you pass the exams, why can't you educate your own kids, for God's sake? You know, ask yourself that question. Why can't you, as the parent of your own children, educate your own kids instead of dumping them in a store? Personally, I think school system has been designed simply to make the youth believe that this is the only way that they should go through life. You know, you go to school, you get an education, you go to college, you get a degree, university, whatever, and, you know, and then you come out, you get a job, you get a mortgage, you spend your life in that job, paying off that mortgage, you dump your kids back into the school system, and it's just a vicious circle. That's basically what they've conditioned everyone to believe is your life and you should not look beyond that system and the sad thing is those of us who actually do look beyond that system we get shamed for trying to point out that there are other ways of doing this we try to point out the fact that forcing your children into an education system that says you must learn this 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 and this and this this all by the time you're 25 or else there's something wrong with you that's messed up guys we need to wake up to the fact that that is a messed up system and yes that works for some people but we need to stop putting so much pressure on kids so much pressure on kids to learn everything by the time they're 25 some kids are slower than others guys and that doesn't mean there's something wrong with them it just means that they take 
longer to absorb and if it takes longer for their brains to process information that doesn't mean there's something wrong with them it may take them until they're 45 to understand things that another child may figure out by the time they're 15. there are some kids that can get it like that some kids that can't and if your child does not figure something out by the time they're 15, 25, 35, it's not a problem. Don't pressure them. We need to stop pressuring kids. I'm sorry, this is just a, it's just a, it's, it's a big, big gripe of mine. The fact that, you know, there are so many people who pressure their kids into being successful by the time they're 35. And it's like, why? You know, um, I get it like back in the days of like Queen Victoria, you know, you didn't have such a big lifespan and you needed to, to learn a lot by the time you were 35 because the chances of you actually achieving anything in your lifespan because your lifespan was much shorter, fine, I can understand that. But we're no longer in the Victorian period, guys. We don't have a lifespan of like 50 years. We have a lifespan of 90 plus, <laughs> okay? Just think about that. You have probably an average of 87, I would say, of lifespan. And you're forcing kids to learn everything in the lifespan of 25 years. Come on, guys, relax. Let your kids learn at their own pace. If they don't like a subject, let them drop it. Maybe 10 years later, they will decide they actually do like it because they will understand it and they will decide to pick it up again. But that let them decide that. Don't force it down their throats. And I think we need to stop this education system from saying, if you don't do this, if you don't have 10, then you are a failure. You need to stop pressuring kids into thinking like that. Okay, you need them to, to read. You need them to write. You need them to learn basic mathematics. Those are three subjects. Three subjects. Maybe you could say, argue a little bit of biology might be necessary, but you don't have to ram it down their throats and say, if you don't learn this by the time you're 16, you are a failure. We need to stop doing that to kids, guys. It's, it's messed up. And also, we need to be self-aware. We need to be more self-aware of the pressure to fulfill some fantasy that they were living in their heads. You know, what I felt was that my parents had this idea in their head when they adopted me of what I was going to come out like. They would send me into this education system and then I would come out like this and I would have this degree and I would come out with this job and then I would go out and buy a house and and to spend the rest of my life in this job paying off that mortgage and it, it, it would be wonderful for them you know it was the same kind of life that they were living and they were like yes this is the way you're supposed to live and because I pushed back on that then they started pushing on me that the notion that I was lazy that I was incompetent that there was something wrong with me and you know if I if I didn't aspire to leave the nest at the time by the time I was 25 then you know the neighbors were going to start chit-chatting behind everyone's back and start whispering what's wrong with this girl and it's like they were so preoccupied with what other people felt and thought they accused me of being lazy and an, and an incompetent idiot basically and you know it, it seriously affected me and I think we really need to stop pressuring kids into doing this. Another thing that I wanted to expand on, which was the was the whole notion of, you know, kids needing to leave home is a major problem in itself as well, because of the fact that kids don't need to leave home, guys. Unless there is something wrong with the family, like again, dysfunctional family, and the kid is not happy, and they choose to leave of their own accord, don't force your kids out of the nest by the time they're 35. Because there is nothing wrong with you staying at home with your parents. You know, this notion of, oh, you live in your parents' basement as a shaming method. It's like, there should never be any shame in staying home with your parents. You don't have to pay rent. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to be unsupported. 
And I mean, yeah, there are parents out there who frankly force their kids to pay them rent, which I think is absolutely sick, because what's the point of you being a parent if you're just going to squeeze your kid for money? I mean, if you're trying to do it because you think it's a good way of teaching them responsibility, then I think it's really stupid because you know what? You might as well just kick them out of the house at that point. I'm just saying, do not force your kids out of the home because you think that it's a shameful thing for them to be in the home when they're still like 35 years old. I mean, I would happily stay with my family even at like the age of 50. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you want to be home with your family, be home with your family. It doesn't matter. But if you want to move out because you want to move out or the kid wants to move out because they want to move out, let them move out. But don't force them out of the home through shame. And ask your kid, please make sure that your kid is making the choice because they personally want to do it, not because they're, they're being pressured by friends. Make sure that the kid is not getting this sort of, you're living in your mum's basement nonsense. Are they being pressured from their peers and, and being shamed by it? Don't let people shame them into leaving home because it's not cool to stay home with your parents. I think it's a, it's a real tragedy and this is one of the reasons why kids cannot afford a home these days because it's the property ladder it's the the inflation is so high that people cannot afford it and you want your kids to go out there and struggle to pay their rent why why do you want your kids to be out there struggling why don't you want to support your kids why do you as kids want to struggle why do you you know like I said, unless you have a dysfunctional family and you really need to get out, then why do you want to be out there struggling to survive when you could live quite comfortably with your own family? Yeah, you might not get on with them every single day, but they're there for you. They're supportive of you. At least I would hope they are. But this is the thing we need to try and work on, guys. We need to work on the fact that kids need support both physically, financially, and emotionally, and mentally. We need, to, we need to support them in every aspect. And you know what? If they want to be artists, let them be artists. You know, if they are financially capable of being an artist, help them do it. And if you don't know what the business of art entails, do your research, look into it, talk to other artists who are actually out there in the, in the art world and talk to them and see what it actually entails because if you don't know anything about the art world and you're thinking artists are just a bunch of penniless layabouts you're going from a, a prejudice and a stereotypical concept and it's not smart it's really insulting to everyone else who is an artist and people who have artistic ways of looking at life you know we need to sort of break out from that notion and we need to stop people from thinking like that and we need to wake people up to the fact that you can do absolutely anything you want in this life we are so fortunate to have the ability or at least most of us are to have the ability to choose any career we want you know you can literally do anything you want in this day and age and I just think it's so sad that people are being forced to take careers that they're not happy with simply because their parents have put so much pressure on them and expectation on them to achieve whatever it is their parents want them to achieve. You know, again, living in their heads, fantasy world of what they want their kids to be rather than actually saying, what does the kid really want to be? And why are we pressuring them to achieve it all by the time they're 35 instead of like, you know what, accept the fact that they maybe have like 90 years of their life to live let them choose what they want to do when they are ready to do it. Even if it takes them until they're 50 to do it. Let them figure it out on their own. Sorry to go on a rant, guys. But this was just something that I had been thinking about very strongly over the um, past month and a bit. And it really was getting to me. And I just felt like I really needed to sort of bleh about it. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, let me know in the comments if you agree with me. Let me know if you don't agree with me and why you don't agree with me. And I get not everyone has the finance and luxury to choose everything. But 
remember there are hundreds of thousands of jobs out there you can do anything you want anything you want if you are willing to work for it so anyway that's my video for today guys i hope you had a good time